Good guys, my name is Lil Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog tour. I don't collect the view. As you know, I'm Lil Tomo with the Blue Steel. Good old Sonic the Hedgehog. It is hot here. But I figured I might as well do another review. Keep you guys in check. So let's put this guy aside and let's get into the actual review itself. This is a Sonic and Knuckles collector's mug. Da, 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 da. How obvious was that? By none other than the Corporation of Duncan. Duncan is quite interesting I'll talk a little bit about it but let's get into the basics of this now essentially I picked up a whole bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise uh, especially things from back in the 90s which I am super ecstatic to basically obtain in its in entire in its condition and also for you to review to you guys just to show you the sort of stuff that was released out back then if you're more or less hunting for some of the retro stuff so this was one of the mugs it basically coincide more or less with the release of Sonic and Knuckles the uh, cartridge in which you could put Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 into it to expand the universe altogether. Granted, the Sonic Adventure 2 game, all you practically did was play Sonic Adventure 2 as Knuckles, which wasn't bad, it was just, it is what it is. Now, you would be wondering why you would have that, because back in its production period, initially, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the game for the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive, depending where you're from, was going to be a massive game, and boy was it massive, to the point where its release date wasn't coinciding to what they wanted to, so they basically subdivided it, so Sonic Adventure 3 came out first, then they released Sonic and Knuckles, which kind of added to the story, which I thought it was so phenomenal that they did. Funny enough, I never picked up that game not only in my life, so I never picked it up when I was young, which was a real bummer. And this was just an item amongst others that they released to basically coincide with the promotional piece that of Sonic and Knuckles, which wasn't bad. So let's go to the overall box and then we'll talk a little more about it. So the box itself is predominantly white. Now my one has gone through uh, weathering, as in the the pigments. You can't see it now, but the pigments are pretty dull, but it comes with time. You see the logo, which is Sonic and Knuckles, which kind of plays with the whole homage where you connect to Sonic the Adventure, uh, Sonic the Adventure, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge and fuse them, kind of like the lock-on cartridge. That's how they basically sold it or tried to sell it, which wasn't bad. So that's that. On either side, you get the exact same thing. So you don't go too ecstatic about how, what it is or what it isn't. At the very bottom, you have a barcode, of course, and it says Sonic Mug, and it has obligatory information, Sonic and Knuckles Mug, blah, 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 and all the fun stuff that coincides with it. Product uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Now the very top is probably one of the most interesting factors amongst everything else that I'm going to show you next. Simply because it says Duncan, which was the actual manufacturer that made this mug. And it says Sonic and Knuckles Collector's Mug. So this was a collector's piece. Now why say Duncan? Because they actually made other stuff. For example, they made this plush or manufactured this plush. So, which I've yet to review, but I will review in course in due time. But it was actually quite interesting that they would make a copious amount of stuff out there. So, it's it's interesting. Now, my one's obviously dusty. I've got to clean this guy up. So, yeah. Put him aside. So, let's open up this thing because that's what we're here for. I don't want to force break it or anything because, well, it's my baby. Now, there's nothing inside the box which you know, to be expected. This is just, just literally, whew, there's a bit of dust in there. This is literally your stock standard Sonic and Knuckles mug. You cannot get any more indifferent to this. Now, opposed to the other mug series that I've done, this one, the only thing that sells it is the fact that it's a collector's mug. But more importantly, it's got the uh, logos, Sonic and Knuckles on either side. That's literally all that is to this mug. At the very bottom, there's nothing. At the very bottom, bottom, it just has obligatory information, which says Sonic and Knuckles and all related characters are indicative of the trademark of Sega, Dunkin Incorporated, blah 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 blah, and you have the logo. Another thing that comes with it, which is pretty funny and pretty adorable in its own way, you get this little tag. As to why you would have it is beyond me, but my guess is with most collectible items that are currently out there in the past or even currently in ge current generations, they throw these obligatory little small things on it so that. In the event that somebody does have this, they most likely will throw this bit away. Now, as time goes by and people and I talk, I remember, and items become of demand, small little nickens like this becomes the you know deciding factor if somebody's going to purchase or not, and how rare how rare it is. So that's the actual logo, Sonic and Knuckles. At the very back, you have of course obligatory information, manufactured and blah blah blah. I can't read it because it's all inverted on my side. But yeah, it's not a half bad. Um. New York, 
trademark. But yeah, essentially this is the mug, and it is a collector's mug, which wasn't half bad if you ask me. There's not a lot of merchandise you could really class as collectors or even self-promoters of as being collectors back in the 90s, as far as I'm aware. I know there were items, of course, but it wasn't just like, I wouldn't say it's the mainstream of things, which was always back in the day. Now, in terms of rarity, look, it really depends if you're a mug collector. I find mugs to be one of the items that are more fascinating. I bought, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Japan mug related, which I reviewed down the track. I know I say that in various videos and whatnot, but there's a lot of stuff that's out there that I have that I would want to review over time. But I want to pace myself, plus I have a life outside of this, and this is more or less a hobby and just more or less showing you what's currently out there. But yeah, it's an interesting item on the least. Now, in terms of rarity, like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to give this a, a path. So five stars out of 10, it could be super rare. I wouldn't know. It could be the most common items out there. I wouldn't know. I'm going to assume it's on the middle mark because I don't know if this is really a thing. I don't really see much mug related reviews out there. Maybe it's not on demand. Maybe I just got lucky. Who knows? How much did I pay for this? I bought this for, I think, $40. Uh, including shipping, I purchased a whole bunch of stuff from this seller. So in shipping, it, it would have been I don't know an additional five bucks or something like that. But yeah, about forty-five bucks, maybe that's what you're looking for. It could be really rare. It could be super common, so it could be five bucks. Who knows? But I thought it was a catch. I've only saw this once before in my life, and I really wanted to pick it up, so I was willing to throw in the cash, extra cash, to basically purchase it. Um, where would you have bought this? Where would you have gotten this? Good question. I would love to know. So if somebody knows, uh, definitely hit me. I don't know if this was a retail thing. I don't know if it was like a game store thing. Um, I really don't know. I wish I did. I really, really wish I did. But it's an interesting piece nonetheless. Guys, tell me what you think about this. If, if it's something that interests you, is it something that you've seen before, maybe you can tell me a little more history about this that I'm not aware of because I would love to love, love to know about this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this review. Speed on and take care. Till next week.